Okay, so let's play the engine. Let's play against 2000. <coughs> let's play knight f6. You can go maybe knight c3 and e4 next move. Okay, let's short castle. Okay, you can go <coughs> bishop e2. We can go e5 if you push. I go here. If you castle, I can go and can play knight c6 and drop after d5. Bishop here or maybe knights before okay so he's got basically plenty of ideas uh, and we want to play a five so uh, for now i think a5 just to try to stop these pawns and um, knight here doesn't really work so let's play knight d7 and basically we are ready to go for um, for f5 the downside that he's got this move so we can also play h6 in this position Probably that is a slow move, but uh, again, just trying to avoid any tricks that he's got <coughs> on e6. Okay, so let's push, and basically we locked the queen, the bishop completely. He's taking with the queen, and we are definitely better. And we can also try to play knight here with the tempo, not the tempo, sorry, with the pressure on this pawn. But after here, it can be a bit better. Mm. We don't want to play too aggressive because we're going to be up material anyway. So for now, let's go b6. And let's go with the knight here. Put some pressure on his position. Okay, so I guess he's, he wants to, um, to trade. But this trade is actually good for me because double a pawn is uh, really, really bad. And as you see, uh, this pawn is becoming a weakness. Okay. Now we can also try to develop the bishop here, not exactly a king side, uh, king's and defense position because you want to use uh, the bishop basically for uh, an attack, but because we are winning, uh, I am comfortable playing that. Also bishop d7 makes sense, just to put some pressure on his position. Um, and I, I do want to play uh, to maneuver the knight here, so how can we do it? Basically, we can go here. So let's maneuver the knight. Let's keep doing that. We can also maneuver the bishop just for a small uh, a temporary uh, moment. So we can move the bishop here. And yeah, basically, this is a great outpost, a very safe one. We get a, we get a tempo on the bishop. Okay, so. If I'm going to take here, I'm just going to help him fix his uh, structure. So I don't see any reason to do that. Um, and also we can try to maybe pressure this pawn. So for now, um, let's improve the position of the queen, I guess. We can also pre-move taken with the rook. And this is almost winning for us guys, of course. Uh, also in this position, a fun fact, you can take the knight and you are protected with your bishop. So, again, completely winning position. Oh, but we might blunder uh, c7. So, okay, let's temporarily just drop back in order to defend everything. Okay, now we can take, yeah, we can take basically... This is defended, and again, if if in this position you take the knight, you take with the bishop, so you are completely fine in this position. Now, basically, we can also drop back. Um, I don't see any other moves. Okay, <clears throat> and it's funny, but uh, I got a small deja vu. But basically, this is the same structure. He will try to put pressure on this pawn, I guess. Yeah, so I guess he will try to maybe double up, but basically this is complete winning. And he's got, yeah, so he's trying to double up on this knight, maybe some sacrifice idea, but basically he's got nothing. Uh, this game is definitely ours. He might try to sacrifice the exchange, but for now I guess we can try to create a fast pawn. We can also maybe double up. Uh, basically we can do everything everything in this in this game he's got absolutely nothing so we can really double up in this position and this is also a very nice outpost i guess 
So basically, if we take, I take, you can win a pawn, but I'm going to win the exchange. And then we can jump maybe to d4 in this position. If it takes, I take with the tempo. And we can do a lot, a lot of stuff in this position, of course. We can also push. Pushing the pawn is, is also a move. Um, okay, so for now, let's move the queen to d7. I still want to see what he's going to do. Okay, now I can push, of course, and then try to push before. But no, before we can take, so... Mm. Um, yeah, we do need to find the move. I can also go h5 and bishop uh, h6, put some pressure on his queen, but I'm not sure if this is the cleanest way to play. Um, yes, yeah, so... Okay, so I guess let's try to put uh, to open up some lines. Okay, and again we can try to <coughs> to exchange knights. Uh, I can also maybe even play uh, b5 in this position. This is completely playable. B5 is a move, a bit aggressive move, but it's it's a move definitely. Okay, now we can also play. Uh, before the downside that you can take and take and take the knight, so probably not the best line. So let's move back, and I'm ready to play before in this position or not yet, not yet. So hmm. we still cannot play before. We still cannot play before in this position, of course. So let's draw back. Okay, this is actually better for us. Now we can also try to push one more time. <clears throat> uh, pushing the pawn is, is fine. We can also try to push this one, but it's currently, un it's currently defended. So, um, okay, so let's keep improving. And again, this game is supposed to be over soon. So, it doesn't really have much. I guess his only option is maybe to try to sacrifice the exchange and maybe try to promote one of his pawn, but too slow, basically. Okay, now he's attacking this pawn, of course, two times, so we can, um, can <clears throat> keep improving. Um, and basically, a move like uh, rook a8 is good, defend this pawn one more time. We can also try to maybe exchange rooks. We can also try to exchange rooks. This is a nice idea. Okay. Um, not 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 entirely um, hard, but we just need to find the key the key moves. If I move the rook, he can try maybe take. So basically, if I move here, he can take and take with the tempo. Okay, so I think this is actually a nice move. We might a bit lose the exchange, but I actually like this idea. So let's move. And I do want to push this pawn, but we still cannot do it. So basically, now this pawn, I guess, is about to fall. Um, I guess it's about to fall, so let's push another one. If we take with the rook, I guess I'm going to take. Okay, now <clears throat> we are still better, of course. Let's take this pawn. Okay, now we want to <clears throat> try to promote the second pawn. Okay, and definitely got some ideas, I guess, maybe to try to pressure my position, maybe to try to exchange even more. Um, yeah. Mm, what do we want to do, guys? And again, we still need to be uh, patient because... Okay, maybe not the most accurate move, but let's push and take the knight. You will take back. 
<clears throat> now we cannot push here because we don't have enough but I do need to try to maybe uh, exchange the queens so <clears throat> um, what is the move exactly okay so let's take it easy let's just go queen c7 okay we can even try to offer a queen exchange and take okay so basically decline um, we can try put some pressure on this pawn because basically it's got zero um, zero pressure on my position so yeah um, let's go check okay now we can also try to go for a queen exchange and this is almost winning for us I mean no this is winning actually um, so playing I guess g3 is a move we can also try to reinforce and then get <coughs> and then go bishop uh, e5 this is completely winning of course we just need to promote one pawn and this, that's it this game would be obvious and as you see you, can, you cannot do anything with this king because this pawn is defended so only thing we need to do is you just go for this pawn <clears throat> and he absolutely cannot do anything so again guys maybe not the most precise game but sometimes simplifies is uh, is doing the job you know okay we can give it check but okay so let's just push basically he's got nothing he cannot really enter the position you basically yeah basically we can just remove almost everything okay so now <clears throat> uh, as you see he's got no legal move because he pushed all of his pawns so in this in this line you do need to be careful not to blunder a draw so let's keep cutting off the king we want to put the king on the last file <clears throat> and now we do want to enter with our king i guess here probably okay now king here you can go back and this is a mid guys wait yeah this is a mid yeah it was fun um i guess uh, in in some positions you can just simplify because we had a very very good advantage but uh, again if you want to try to play more professional <coughs> uh, maybe more patient maybe we can try to play uh, in a more patient way and maybe to basically try to find the top move every um every turn but again because i felt really confident and i saw that our advantage is just too big i was just trying to simplify and win the game so hope you enjoyed and if you watched until now i got a new intro so hit the like if you love it thank you for watching guys